everyone, Success Coach Michelle Weimer here with this week's Masterful Mindset. So this week's quote comes from Jim Rowan and it is, either you run the day or the day runs you. And so, you know, last week I mentioned to you all that it was so important to be taking action steps every single day towards achieving your goals. And um, I know that you're probably busy. I'm busy, like I'm super busy. My schedule is crazy. Uh, and it's easy to get caught up in being busy though and not actually being productive. So today I wanna tell you how you can structure your day so that um, it will be productive and you can maximize your efforts. Um, and the first thing really, um, well, let me just ask you this question, you know, how productive do you feel right now? Uh, do you schedule your day out? Do you structure your day in a, a way that is um, giving you the best results at the end of every day so that you are achieving the things you want to accomplish? Um, or are you just finding that you're exhausted by the end of the, your day and, and, you, and you're overwhelmed and you feel like you haven't gotten anything done? Um, so the first thing I want to say is that s scheduling your day um, will actually give you more freedom. So structure gives you freedom. And um, the first thing that you want to do in terms of scheduling your day is to decide what's most important. Okay, put the most important things first. Write those into your schedule, write them into your, your calendar, whether you use um, an actual paper planner uh, or you use like something like iCal or Google calendars, whatever you use, but schedule everything into your day um, and set you know, set notifications like my, um, my phone goes off every morning, uh, to remind me that it's time to get into the office and start planning my day. I have, um, reminders prior to every one of my client calls so that it gives me the time to, um, refocus, get ready for that client, those kinds of things. So schedule your day based on what's most important. First, put those things into your calendar first, set notifications for them and then fill in the rest of your day accordingly. Um, you know, of course, those things that are priority first, but you wanna make sure that you are not working from a state of urgency and emergency, but rather that you are um, incorporating pieces into your day, um, scheduling things that are, in, of course, those important urgent things have to be done, but just, you don't wanna always be working from that place. You wanna make sure you're working ahead as well. So try to schedule and structure your day as much as possible. The next piece that I wanna give you today is, that it's important to bookend your day. I really think this is helpful, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do in the morning, like I, I mentioned a second ago, I, um, I, I plan my day every morning. So I actually have time scheduled into my day where I sit down, I look at my planner, I schedule my day, I look at what needs to be done, the people I need to be contacting, um, things I need to be writing or working on, whatever it is that I have going on, I schedule that into my day. And then at the end of the day, I think this is where um, the idea of bookending your day with with kind of uh, um, looking over your day is um, is like an evaluation, right? Like, how did the day go? Did you get everything done that you wanted to get done? Is there maybe one more thing that you can finish up real quick or that needs to be finished up? Um, is there something that's going to be urgent tomorrow that you want to make sure you get on your calendar? Go ahead and put it there. How um, how productive was your day? Uh, I even recommend giving yourself maybe a ranking, like uh, one to ten. Um, ten being I kicked ass today, I was super productive, and one being wow, I was not productive at all. I didn't get anything done uh, that I wanted to get done. I, I overbooked or I goofed around and I let things distract me. Kind of evaluate your day because this helps you identify maybe the areas where you have some weaknesses, the areas where you um, need to make some changes or some adjustments into your day. And then the third piece I want to give you today is to take time, okay? I'm not joking. Take time out of your day to take breaks. This is so very important. And sometimes we think, I'm so busy. I don't have time to take a break. I'm too busy. I can't, I can't stop. But I'm telling you, if you really want to be productive, like super productive, you absolutely have to take time for yourself throughout the day. Get up, walk around. I mean, if you have, if you have enough time, if you can schedule it, and, and that's the thing, like schedule your breaks, right? Um, schedule some time where you maybe um, take five minutes or 10 minutes and you stretch, 
Um, maybe you go for a quick walk outside. Even if you have to walk down the hall just to go to the bathroom or something along those lines, get a drink of water, uh, you know, again, stretch or walk outside. Those are, those are great ways to kind of reset yourself and reset your energy level, most importantly, because if you're tired and your energy is starting to wane because you've been maybe sitting in front of your desk or you've been working on a task for an extended period of time, you're not going to be as productive, right? Because you're going to lose focus. Your energy is going to shrink after time. And, you know, you just end up sort of spinning your wheels. So take breaks and make sure that you schedule those breaks into your day. Remember, structure gives you freedom. If you can schedule your day out very structured, you will be surprised at the freedom that you have in, in terms of just time that you have at the end of your day or in your evenings. You're going to feel better because you're going to have more of a productive day. So when you get home from work, you're going to be like, yeah, today was great. That reflects out. It carries out into your family. Uh, everybody wins when you can have structure and have a productive day. So my challenge for you this week is to do exactly that. Um, take the three steps that I gave you today, which is schedule everything out. Start with the things that are most important, those priorities, get them in there. Um, set timers as well for the, those things so that you know when you're supposed to be moving on to the next task. Um, evaluate, bookend your day, right? So you start with planning in the morning and you end with reviewing what you've done and evaluation of everything and, and your productivity at the end of the day and look for ways to improve the next day or, or important things for the next day. And then lastly, make sure you take breaks, schedule breaks. Um, again, e and you know what, even if it's just a few minutes, even if you can't take 10 or 15 minutes, take three minutes, get up and stretch and uh, walk around, swing your arms, whatever, take, take some breaks so that you can keep your energy up, keep your productivity and your focus going and uh, really have a successful day every day. So until next time, goodbye for now.